Hey everybody. Well, it's that time of year where we start to reflect on the challenges and successes of the preceding year and look forward to our hopes and desires for the coming year. And the more I look around our property, the more I realize actually has been done. Because it's easy to glance around and start having thoughts like, why isn't my garden as big as I wanted? Where's my permaculture forest I keep talking about? Why don't we have the livestock we really want to have? But then I start thinking about the individual events that did happen during 2013. I think about the goats that we had on the property and how we raised those little baby kids and made the decision, yes, to sell them, but in the meantime, learned a lot of things. Learned about keeping those livestock, learned about electric fencing and how uh, what we really need to do on the property before we can really have that kind of livestock. I've learned a lot about our back to eating garden and in consequence more things about permaculture and can look forward to 2014 knowing that the garden will grow better because I can see how much better the soil is doing. I can look forward and see the rest of the property and just how much potential is actually there. And it's those kind of things that keep me uplifted and keep me moving forward for progress. Now I've been doing a lot of research here lately, looking at a lot of videos and online material so I don't have to shell out the big bucks on a permaculture design course. And in looking about information in permaculture, I'm really starting to think more out of the box and get away from the fenced in rectangle garden that we started last year and moving toward a permaculture design and noticing some of the intricacies about our property and just where we really could make the best use of our property for our desires. So what you can expect in 2014 is more of the same. We're going to have a lot more uh, videos about permaculture, a lot more videos about gardening and growing your own food in general. Uh, who knows what kind of livestock we'll get into. Another thing about 2013 that I forgot to mention was just how many ducks we had born on the property. And that's not going to stop. So there's always something evolving. There's always something growing. And if you're a new subscriber to us or if you haven't really been following us along on the website, please check out that first link right in the uh, description of the video. That'll take you over to a new post on our website. And it has the top 10 posts, the most viewed posts of 2013. So you can kind of catch up on what was the, the biggest hits that happened around the homestead. But until then, we'll see you next time. And thank you as always for watching and subscribing.